Hello everyone, Will from Overkill Motorsport. I'm here with my 2013 Cadillac ATS 3.6 all-wheel drive. This is my own personal vehicle and uh, this is the vehicle that has had the Overkill supercharger system developed on for this particular ATS platform. It is mid-April right now, 2019, and I wanted to give you guys an update, letting you know that uh, the car has been running very, very well. Um, I have delayed the release of the kit just to drive the vehicle for a sufficient amount of time as to discover any revisions that needed to be made, uh, any little, little details, because the kit, although it is extremely similar to the Camaro kits, uh, it there are its own unique features for this platform. Uh, so just to go through just a few small examples of that, I redid the lines. This is the brake uh, vacuum pump that normally is sat at the front of the engine here, but because of the intercooler piping, I moved it up to here. And I just had to redo uh, some of the lines here of how I'm, I'm making the new lines with the check valves and whatnot. Um, so something as simple as that I discovered and then to, I decided also to run the throttle body spacer that gives the vacuum line that goes down to the um, blow off valve. So I originally left that out of the design but I added it back in. Everything seems good there. Um, I wanted to check on a clearance issue down here that's been just fine. Um, it gets close to the alternator there. Um, but it has never come, is never moved from the initial installation. So if someone follows uh, the installation instructions and uh, positions it properly, they're not going to have an issue there. So just some small, small things. For example, um, this is the upper radiator stay bracket, and it sits just below the plastic here and just leans the radiator back. Um, it's protruding just a little bit. Wherever it is, I can't feel it right now. Um, but the way that we fastened it was with a, uh, a hex head bolt at the top here. And I've switched the design to these low profile uh, button heads just so that the plastic doesn't protrude. It seemed as though it was uh, just preventing the hood from closing just that little bit because the, uh, the rubber seal sits right here. So just an example of how just this tiny, tiny little change, you know, it's nice to discover these things. And another item, for example, is the air filter that we're using on this kit. It's a, a K&N filter because it gives a, a low profile. I had to use a smaller filter than the AMZO filter that I normally use. This does come wrapped with their version of a hydrophobic uh, pre-wrap, uh, but it had the, the right end on everything. Um, so the issue I was having, though, is that it's just got a very small collar. And they send just a normal uh, clamp like this uh, to clamp it down. But uh, on the tube, because of the short collar, I would normally put a bead roll, and that would prevent the uh, this from slipping off of the metal pipe. Well, I can't do that because of how short the collar is. So I've done two things. First, I'm changing the clamp out to one of these uh, spring-loaded clamps. That's going to uh, give this uh, some more tension. And, uh, and keep this uh, secured uh, versus something cheap like this. And the other thing I'm doing is on that metal pipe, uh, powder coating it with a rough textured finish. So rather than having a smooth polished pipe, it's got a rough textured powder coat finish and uh, that'll help the filter grip onto the uh, pipe. So, you know, those are examples, again, they're just very, very small things overall. Uh, everything's fitting great. Everything's running great. Um, I'm currently running on the six rib belt. Um, I've got a 3.4 inch pulley on right now, which is the stage two pulley. And I think what I'm going to do for the kits is I'm going to send them set up for a six rib belt like this. Um, but what I'm going to do is have an optional um, eight rib. And all that you need to do, I'll send it with the kit. It'll be different uh, size spacers here to space this out differently and a couple of different fasteners. Um, but I'm just, it's tight at the front here, 
from the positioning of the vortex so I'd rather close this up and and run a six rib uh, belt with the standard pulleys once you get down to running between 12 and 14 pounds of boost now you want to have the eight rib uh, for a little more reliability so all you have to do to run the eight rib is all the pulleys will come set up for it you just have to put the right uh, spacers and the bolts in and it's converted to eight rib uh, but the pulley I was running a vortex six rib pulley here um, I'm gonna have them specially made that they're an eight rib uh, and uh, the factory crank pulley, um, sorry, the crank pulley that slips into the factory crank pulley down there, it's going to be set up to run uh, the extra ribs as well. So it'll all be set up and you can run it either the six rib or the eight rib. But otherwise, uh, the kit's looking great. Um, this kit specifically fits the 2013 uh, to 15 ATSs with a 3.6 liter motor, both rear wheel drive and all wheel drive. And the 2016 and newer kits, um, it's a different 3.6 motor, it's the LGX. I already have kits for that. Um, apply some of the specific things for the ATS to it, but otherwise, these will all be ready to go uh, by the end of April. And they'll be up on www.v6supercharger.com. Um, you can leave a, a comment a question on this video or send me an email at uh, willoverkill at gmail.com. Thanks very much for watching.